Hi there, this is David from Rarify, and today I want to share with you my very own uh, Herman Miller Eames Aluminum Group Executive desk chair in a special ordered gray leather that was produced circa, from what I see underneath, uh, 1984, which was the year prior to Herman Miller changing this uh, design to have a five prong base. So, the Eames Aluminum Group was introduced in 1958. And those chairs are the, the ribbed versions. Um, early examples actually used a um, Saran fabric, S-A-R-A-N fabric, uh, which is high, super sought after and difficult to find. What happened after that was they used a kind of ribbed and pressed uh, Naga hide material from what I've understood and uh, seen primarily and fabric um, in the, let's call it the thin padded version. And then as, for, as the story goes, and, and credit to Daniel Ostroff here, as the Eames chaise designed for Billy Wilder was being produced, that chair used a construction very similar to this, which had these kind of pillows, and that was used for napping. And supposedly, uh, they were going, uh, the Eames office was going out for a picnic or, or lunch, and someone brought around one of these slings and used it on one of the aluminum chairs, and that was from my understanding, how these came to be. In 1969, the soft pad series was introduced, and this was a very expensive and uh, uh, not necessarily exclusive, but a very expensive option because of how intricate and expensive the material is and also how intricate the construction was. This uses uh, leather for the sling itself, it has a fabric back on examples, uh, from what I've seen, that predate the 1980s. Um, I typically associate the fabric with kind of late 60s and 70s examples. And often there are these beautiful Alexander Gerard or similar hop sack fabrics used. Um, Herman Miller has just introduced those, I think, due to not popular demand, but uh, interest and, and uh, uniqueness of, of that as part of the design. Uh, most examples otherwise would use leather on the back. The aluminum group series and the soft pad chairs have cast aluminum details. Those cast aluminum parts are polished, and that includes the arms, the back braces, the support, um, the, uh, the cross uh, member that runs along the back here, some of these um, hard rib details, as well as the four or five prong base. Um, that base was changed circa 1985 because of what I believe to be US uh, regulatory changes as far as uh, desk chair standards and safety protocol. Uh, the five star base is technically safer, though I, I've had no kind of tip issues with this one. There are also two different types of ba bases that you can order for this executive chair version today and historically uh, since like 2005 or six approximately. Uh, which is the pneumatic or the kind of standard tilt manual height adjustment um, swivel base. That's what this is, and I think they're very simple and elegant and attractive to look at. The pneumatic, I think, is a little clunkier, even though it's more expensive. Uh, and the pneumatic cylinders actually can kind of go bad, whereas there are very few things on these chairs that, that will ever run into any issues. Um, this has been in regular use since the 1980s, and from what I've seen, no issues except for I've repolished the arms on these and stripped the, the clear coat. Um, that's also something relevant to note, which is that these arms were clear coated at the factory, so if people ask about polishing the arms, you would actually need to typically strip and then polish those arms. Um, we have that done in-house um, or, or locally and done professionally. Um, often that clear coat will yellow and then you can actually kind of uh, flake it off or you can use a chemical process to remove the, the um, clear coat. Otherwise, what's unique about this is the use of a custom leather color, which would have likely been custom ordered. Uh, Herman Miller would pride itself, as would Noel, on being able to send really any material and spec um, kind of anything you wanted. This was probably a factory leather, but a, a unique color. 
And if I had to guess, this probably came from a corporate environment and there were likely um, many other chairs um, from this batch. I had picked this up in Connecticut from uh, someone local who had, who had only had it for a couple of years. Uh, nonetheless, if anyone has any questions about the Eames Soft Pad series or the aluminum group or Herman Miller Eames chairs and furniture beyond, feel free to comment or leave us a message or reach out and we're happy to talk to you. Thanks so much for listening and talk to you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.